The idea behind the Second Avenue subway has been around since the 1940s, since the number of people living on the east side has been growing steadily. The Second Avenue L and the Third Avenue L have been taken down in 1942 and 1956 in order to accommodate the new residential and commercial buildings. But since then, it has only been the four, five, and six Lexington Avenue trains that were supporting the entire east side population. The good news is, the Second Avenue subway construction already began in 2007. The bad news is, is that it keeps being delayed. The section that extends the queue line between the 72nd and the 105th streets will be finished in 2016. As you can see, rigorous construction is already going on between 91st and 95th streets. Although there are many issues with it, like noise and slowing down the traffic, the completed Phase 1 will accommodate almost 200,000 daily riders. A survey among some Hunter College students and faculty members was conducted to show how many people have issues with the Lexington line, and 62 people responded. 70% of the regular 6 train riders said that they would rather take either the 2nd Avenue subway alone or a combination of both if it were to be built. 30% said they preferred the 6 train. Among the most important reasons that the subject was noted in response to the question why they would prefer the 2nd Avenue subway was the fact that the 2nd Avenue subway would probably be cleaner and more aesthetically pleasing. Which is true. In fact, 2nd Avenue subway would also be much faster than the Express 4 train because it would incorporate the technologies of the 21st century.